case you had an alteration that had been present for what about a couple months or so before we saw you? A couple months and uh, you know kind of limb threatening she's a, she had a diabetic. The alteration was under her uh, fourth metatarsal. So what we did to keep this very simple we numbed this in the office and if you look at the very top of the foot we made a percutaneous incision and basically went behind where the infection's at and raised it up. It's already getting better. You know, I don't know whether she may have a touch of bone infection. We're not sure yet. It got pretty bad for her. She had on some strong antibiotics orally. But uh, looks like we're on a road to recovery. We'll take her off the antibiotic today and see what goes. And anyway, this is kind of uh, healing up for her. And she's not in a boot or anything. She's just walking on a surgical chair here. So that helps us. Uh, now, with these types of patients, we don't follow, you know, the... Uh, we, what we do with IPKs, IPKs, you know, sometimes if it's under the second, we'll do the second and third bone. If it's under the uh, fourth, we'll do the third and fourth. But in our diabetic patients with ulcers and especially infection, including bone infection, normally isolate the surgery to whatever areas has the ulcer. So her ulcer is on the fourth mat here, and we raise it up, so she'll be good to go with that. She had some other ulcers. What the other ulcers were, where they were they at? The big toe here and stuff. Mm -hmm. So those are better too. Alright, so she's getting better and everything's uh, looking looking good.